This is Voice of Restoration TV, and you're watching In Defense of the Truth. Welcome to our program, In Defense of the Truth. My name is Ogumi Edema, reporting for Voice of Restoration TV. It is a great honor and privilege to have the servant of God, Prophet Tom, from Christ Voice of Restoration Ministry. Sir, you are welcome to this service. Thank you. Sir, today we're going to be talking about South Africa. There's a lot that is going on right there. A lot of violence that is going on right there. And during one of your services, sir, April, that took place in April 19, 2015, you gave a prophetic parable and you said, those that live in a glass houses do not throw stones. What do you mean in regards to Africa, in South Africa right now? Well, thank you. I, I just maybe want to start by saying to the people and the viewers, I'm not a politician. I'm not uh, qualified to speak political statements. I'm just a servant of God. And uh, it is true that I gave a prophetic word uh, concerning the nation of South Africa. And God gave me these words that those who live in glass houses must not throw stones at others. And the question I'm being asked here is, what does that mean? Well, you look at the situation that is in South Africa, it is very delicate. And not only very delicate, but very fluid, in my opinion. And uh, I believe that what God is trying to warn South Africans is that if what they start doing in their country, if other people retaliate to whatever they are doing, what kind of state of affairs are we going to, to have? So we must not blame others for the economic hardship, for everything. Because what might be seemingly happening good in South Africa if they start attacking other foreigners, the very same thing that made other foreigners leave their own country, South Africans can also leave their own country because of that. Nobody control the destiny except God. And we got to live in a way that's, um, you know, pleasing to God. And uh, this kind of violence, this kind of attack of a person from this nation, a person of this kind of tribe, a person of this kind of race, this is not what God is looking for. Wow. Exactly. Sir, I would like to ask, Manuel, I would like to also say this. For a fact, when during the period of a um, appetite when South Africa they were trying to get their freedom many African countries as well as uh, international bodies they were all in support of uh, South Africa during that period even many countries we have even bonds countries like uh, Zimbabwe Mozambique they even got bombed during this period and now majority of the people also are still living in uh, South Africa but the way right now the South Africans are treating these other residents that are international bodies that are living in their country, what do you think God is saying to that? Well, you see, the Bible is very clear. No man is an island. Exactly. And God commands us that we as believers ought to love one another. We are what we are because of others. South Africa owes its freedom to the sacrifice of many other countries in Africa around the world. Many people who were not primarily South African citizens paid a dear price for the independence of South Africa. I believe that what the South Africans ought to be doing right now is rather than, rather than attacking their fellow African brothers and attacking fellow, fellow, um, fellow human beings, we should, all, we should be coming together to pray and say this is the crisis we have. What is the way out? And I think that what South Africa is doing right now, in my opinion, and I believe in the opinion of God, this provokes the wrath of God. Because the blood of innocent people is crying out. And the Bible says God hates anybody who shed innocent blood. And that's what they are doing. Rather than solving the situation, their economic situation, I think that they are creating um, uh, a very serious um, a spiritual problem 
in their own country. And it will be very difficult for South Africans to manage this kind of situation if the leaders, the president, the leaders, and the church leaders cannot, they ought to come quickly and pray to stop this and explain to those who feel angry that this is not the way God wants us to go. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate that. I know you are a man of God and you speak on behalf of God right now. Sir, with all these attacks that is going on to these foreigners from the South Africans to them, I know God doesn't like violence, but is there any way the leaders can also support them in order to bring a stop to this violence? How, how do you think these South Africans can get up to stop it? Because so many foreigners, they are dying right now. What is the way out from this? The, the, the way out on this is to involve God in what is happening in South Africa. Whether happening socially, economic, political affairs, and international relations. God is, is, is alive in all these situations. Whether we want a, a, a sound a, a economic policies, we have to appeal to God. Whether we want sound social policies, policies um, international relations, God must be involved in whatever we are doing. I believe that South Africa slowly and slowly is pushing God out. Their government is pushing out God out. They are their leaders, their spiritual leaders, some of them have come out to utter utterances that uh, when men of God hear them, those that are, who know God hear them, they are passionate. When they believe that this kind of people at one time misparate themselves as men of God. So what am I saying? The, the, the crisis in South Africa is not basically made on the surface of it. It's an economic problem. It's a political problem. But deep, you discover it's a spiritual crisis. Wow. The nation have drifted away from God. And these are the symptoms of a nation that have uh, had a broken relationship with God. And the leaders ought to solve this problem quickly by asking reputable pastors, renowned leaders in the nation to come together. And they need to come together and talk, tell them that this is not the way of God. Whatever they are doing is the way of Satan. It will create more problem. In fact, I can say it on right now that I see beyond this, I, I see greater economic problem for South Africa. So they have to be very careful about how they are going about whatever they are doing. Wow. So, man of God right now. So, if I may understand you clearly, so are you saying that the only way out of this crisis right now is for the South Africans to return back to God and depend on God alone in order to solve this misunderstanding because you just made a prophetic word right there by saying that if they don't stop this, you see a bigger economic problem, economical problem coming to them right yes. now. Yes, I believe that South African leaders must organize um, three days of, of, of repentance in the nation, prayer and fasting, and, they, and, they, and uh, repent for this kind of sin. It did not only start this year, it also, we know that in the past, we have had a problem of this kind of nature. So South Africa must repent and let the leaders of South Africa covenant their nation back to God. Let them give their nation to God. That will bring peace, that will bring economic prosperity to South Africa. Without God, South Africa is doomed. Wow. Okay. So man of God, I know you are a really man of God right now because the way you speak him right now is really affect, I believe it to be affecting a lot of people and be touching their life. But for the foreigners that are living right there in that country, what word can you give to them? I know a lot of people are losing their loved ones right now. What kind of words of encouragement can you give to the people right there that are living well, in South Africa? Well, I, I believe that uh, uh, we have the example of Daniel who was an asylum seeker in the Babylonian Empire, he was a foreigner as a Jew. Even in moments when Daniel was being threatened by the establishment and the people were gaming together to try to destroy him. I believe that the foreigners in South Africa must come together too. They must come together and pray. They must pray for peace in South Africa. They must pray for the wisdom of the South African leaders. They must pray for peace and prosperity in South Africa. If they come together, let them not run away. 
Because that is not the will of God. That is the will of man for them to run away. Let them not be afraid, but let them come together. Let them come together in houses. Let them have prayer meetings, all night prayer meetings in houses. Let them, let them come together in churches. Let them pray wherever they can. Two people, three people, two families, four families, let them come together. Let, us, let them pray that God must stop this kind of human, human carnage, this kind of trouble. I was reading in the newspaper today here one Zimbabwean lady who was decapitated, which means that they, they, uh, they cut off her head. This is, not, this, this is not merely about economic problem. This is a satanic spirit, a demonic spirit that is influencing the South African nation. The South African nation right now is under the sway of the devil. And the people have to, 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 to pray to stop this kind of thing. That's what I can say they ought to do. Wow. So I understand you clearly, like you said, the South African country with all this violence and crisis that is going on right now, they are under a demonic control right now, a satanic control rather, right now. So the only way out for them right now is to go back to God. Yes. Hold on to God. Yes. Have a night vision. Yes. Pray. Amen. Gather together. And even the foreigners that are there right now, you say they should meet and pray. But rather, they shouldn't run right now because I know right now the violence is really, really tough right there because they're killing them like seriously. So right now you're telling them not to run away, but rather they should go into places and into houses in groups and start praying. That is a very good encouragement right now that you're giving to people. So right now, for those who have really lost their loved ones, is there a particular word of encouragement that you could give to them? Because it's not easy to lose someone, you know. I want to say to those who have lost their beloved ones, we commiserate, we are sorry for, for them. That's what we can say. We, we, we send our condolences. But here is the message of hope. This world here is not our home. We are mere sojourners on, in this world. When bad things happen to us, we must not retaliate. We Christians ought not to retaliate back. We ought not to meet our vengeance. Rather, we must walk in forgiveness. And let them forgive. Let them pray. And it is only God who can judge what is happening for them. Let them pray. Let them be comforted knowing that God is a God of justice. He's a God of compassion, he's a God of mercy. If they do that, they too ought to pray for the nation of South Africa so that there may be peace, so that there may be direction. Because like I said, if they don't pray, I see, more, more, I see a, a very terrible economic problem coming to South Africa. So those who are mourning, we, we are mourning with you, you know, but don't be discouraged. This is what happens, this is life. Some bad things happen. But we cannot return evil for evil. That is not what God has called us to do. God bless you. Man of God, I want to really say thank you so much for this opportunity thank and you. thank you for your presence here. Yeah. I know you are a very busy man, but we really appreciate this moment. And viewers out there, we believe you've heard it all from the servant of God, and we know you will take this at heart. Until next time, we will see. Leave us your messages, give us your comments, and we'll get back to you on that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Obumi Edema, reporting for Voice of Restoration TV. Have a nice day. You're watching In Defense of the Truth. To learn more about this broadcast, log into our YouTube channel at www.youtube slash Voice of Restoration TV and subscribe to our channel today.